Hello guys, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of Lightning Web Component series. In this video, we are going to discuss about introduction to Lightning Web Components. Lightning Web Components are custom HTML elements built using HTML and modern JavaScript. Lightning Web Component uses core web standards and provides only what's necessary to perform well in a browser supported by Salesforce. Since it's built on the code that runs natively on browser, Lightning Web Components is lightweight and exceptionally delivers the performance. Most of the code you write is in the standard HTML and JavaScript. So why do Salesforce introduce Lightning Web Components so late? Why didn't Salesforce introduce Lightning Web Component instead of Aura back then? Right. So let's understand this first. Let's look at the 2014 web stack. If you can see all the features and support which are a framework require was not provided by the platform or we can say the browser. Right. So all of these things like component models, templates, rendering optimizations, language extensions. So these were taken care by the framework. So a lot of frameworks came into picture to fill this void created by the browser capabilities. So similarly, Salesforce used Aura framework for this. But now over the years, there were a lot of developments and enhancements into the webs and see how web standard has been transformed. Now all of these property things, so these are handled by the web browser itself. There's a lot of decreased in the usage of frameworks and JavaScript. So Salesforce came up with the Lightning Web Components. Right. So let's compare the Lightning Web Component uh, web stack and the Aura web stack. So as a lot of functionalities that Salesforce had built into the Aura framework could now be taken out of their process and offloaded to the browser itself. So uh, we can only see the security features like Lightning Locker Service. Then we can see uh, Lightning Data Service and uh, the base Lightning components which are present over here. So rest of the things are handled by the browser itself. Right. So what are the benefits of using Lightning Web Components? First thing is Lightning Web Component is compliant to the current web standard. OK, and another thing, uh, Lightning Web Component delivers exceptional performance because the core features are implemented natively in the web browser instead of in the JavaScript with framework abstractions. So it no longer requires the user to download the JavaScript and then wait for engine to compile it before rendering the component. OK. Another thing is Lightning Web Component is a transferable skill. So we can easily ramp up the developers uh, using the Lightning Web Components because it's built on the current web standards. So the other UI developers can acquire this skill very easily. Now a lot of companies or industries have switched from Visual Force page to Aura Components. So and suddenly uh, Lightning Web Component came. So do we need to switch again or everything to uh, Lightning Web Component? So what's coexistence of Aura and Lightning Web Component? So Aura Components and Lightning Web Components, they can coexist inside the same page, right? And uh, also Aura Components can include the Lightning Web Component, though the vi uh, vice versa is not possible. So Lightning Component cannot include Aura Component, but the reverse is true. Right. Also, uh, Lightning Web Components and Aura Components, they share same base components, base Lightning Components, like we have Lightning Buttons and all those things. The way they are used uh, are a little bit different, uh, different syntactically, but uh, uh, the concept and the base component itself uh, are same. Right. Uh, also, uh, they use similar underlying services, like they use Lightning Data Service, Lightning Locker Service, etc. Also, Lightning Web Components can easily interact with the Aura component and they can handle the events of one another. So events are uh, created and handled differently in Aura Components and Web Components, but they can communicate with each other. Okay, so uh, whatever we have developed already in Aura Components, we can keep them as it is, right? We can keep using them and uh, whatever new things come up, we can develop that using Lightning Web Components and then we can communicate these two things using events. Now, when Lightning Web Component came earlier, there were a lot of unsupported features. However, most of them are being covered now by Lightning Web Components. So uh, one of that was, uh, how can we use Lightning Web Component inside of VF pages? Because most of the uh, industries have developed VF pages earlier and then they used to use Aura Component inside VF page using Aura dependencies. So um, earlier it was not possible to use Lightning Web Components uh, in a standalone uh, applications or inside uh, a VF pages. 
now we can do that also so what we have to do is we just have to create an aura application and then we have to use our lightning web component inside the aura application and then include that aura application inside the vf page just like creating aura dependencies okay so uh, that is it for the introduction of lightning web component uh, thank you for watching guys and do let me know your suggestions and views in the comment section also subscribe to our channel for more videos on lightning web component thank you